my name is uh, Faisal Khalil and uh, let me just uh, today uh, tell you how you can create your own VPS virtual private server actually why you need virtual private server sometime actually um, you can't afford to something stop on your laptop for example due to your laptop uh, trip or your energy um, terminal trips or some interruption in between any kind of thing happen right for example you just turn off laptop or your internet is gone so in the world of uh, there are a lot of application for that i mean uh, there is 24 7 availability of your uh, computer so there are many services providing you 24 7 uh, availability and uh, service for a vps or um, a virtual private server for these tasks especially this is very important for any kind of trader right so but these things are i mean very costlier i mean ranges from uh, a decent uh, virtual private server is like not less than 30 bucks 25 bucks which means that monthly you have to give 25 bucks for that so i'm gonna tell you today that how you can do it free of cost more reliable more secure uh 100 availability is guaranteed so you don't have to do anything you can access it via udp or from your laptop that server and do whatever you want if you're a trader if you are developing some server or you're testing something that need to be on uh, any web server or let's say like that um, you're deploying any any of your stuff which needs availability and you want to test it or you want to scale it something like that let me just test you tell you how you can do that right so you just go here in the google and say aws log in something like that most probably you're gonna come here right so here actually you can create a new account you hit on create new account right and then it's gonna actually ask you to verify your code and you do that and it's gonna ask you for something like this uh captcha for security reason this email verification you enter code you need to set any kind of password here it's gonna ask you some business or work school or personal you can choose any of anyone you want free tier account you need uh, a payment method to be added actually and uh, they're gonna temporarily actually uh, send um, one dollar in your account to check that if the communication is okay but actually what you can do is that uh, don't worry about that they always give you beforehand message and they don't charge on the expiry so you get 12 month free tier and there are a lot of aws resources you can use within this range so don't worry just give uh, any of this uh, payment details and you're good to go after you're gonna give this information of your credit card or any payment method they're gonna actually verify that you're the real person for that they mostly rely on the text or sms because any sms in any country you need to give your passport identity card so they're going to send you actually small email or they can also do a voice call and this is the next step for you to activate your account so let's do it they're going to ask you that uh, su uh, support plan support plan means that uh, um, they're going to reply your uh, queries or problem or answer via customer support you don't need to do anything you just tick basic here okay once you do that you see this congratulations that you have signed up with that you're gonna get the email as well great now we're gonna hit here to go to our console here that's how your overall after the login um, your setup should look like it's automatically um, put me through in the stock homes which is okay because i work with european kind of servers for my uh, purpose but you can choose whatever is near to you the more nearest your server is this is more well beneficial for you in terms of speed actually 
Great, now you're gonna get here to EC2 instance. This is actually a kind of um, machine or computer uh, they're gonna give you, right? So, and also you can also actually search here EC2. EC2 is actually name of a, a virtual server actually or computer on the cloud platform of AWS. So. Anyhow, you're gonna land here. You click here, launch instance. Then you're gonna give it a name of anything. You can ask it. Um, demo ICP server, something like that. Okay, then. Here is a different image actually that are pre-built or that are already available. You need to select one. In my case, I need a window here. I select here window. Then here, this is saying that free tier eligible. Uh, make sure that you always uh, select something which is free tier available. I don't need anything fancy actually. Um, uh, this is Microsoft Windows Server, which is actually perfect for me. I can select uh, all free tier here. Even actually, I can go for any um, lower end number as well, like 16, because um, it's going to consume less of my power because uh, tier 3 micro is uh, always, you know, they're going to give you kind of um, 1 or 2 GB RAM, which is enough for my processes. So free tier is always minimized. So make sure that uh, you can select any older version of the server, like 16 or something else. Or if you're um, kind of uh, want to see the advanced feature or you want to select something else, it's uh, up to you. It's a very important process after you select whatever uh, you uh, and, uh, here. Uh, in the instance types, it's going to give you two virtual CPU, which is enough, one giga of memory and some... Um, I mean, you don't have to worry about this cost because that never is going to hit uh, because you're in the free tier already. But the important thing is that you create a key value peer. Key value peer is the SSHing um, encryption method where you get private key and uh, uh, public key. Public key is always available within the system and private key you hold is this kind of, you know, encryption method. I don't want to get into the detail. You here create any method here. RSA uh, private key format or whatever you want, you need um, demo icp key so if it could be open sss ars and whatever so you can either click here format could be pkk pkk is only for putty if you don't know about putty just leave it pem and you're good to go create here key the most important thing that you save this key uh very carefully where you can retrieve it back okay after you save this information there are um, important information we're gonna need actually don't change anything here it's automatically um, according to free tier give you 3 gb or 3 gigabyte of ssd attached to your your pc or your virtual server so you're good here right so there are some advanced feature you don't need at all it is kernel or virtualization related stuff you really don't need it. Uh, please make sure that you click here RDP because we are gonna uh, access our PC or the server via uh, this machine where I'm working, which means that you can um, RDP into it. So please check it and anywhere because we are kind of uh, um, secure here with uh, PEM key or private key and uh, encryption method. You don't worry about that. Click here, launch instance here. It's going to take some while. Oh, it went really very fast. And then we can always see our instances here back. Which instance is running, which is not running. It's kind of initialization, initializing. ACU North 1A Stockholm already. I don't uh, want, I cannot, I don't need anything. The most important stuff here is the public IP, which is here actually IPv4. I want to copy it because this is what I'm gonna need to RDP into it. This is uh, public DNS, might be I need it. 
but all the information related to that is here subnet mouse public auto sign ip and everything i need is here right then i'm gonna tell you what you can do to log into your system and what you can do later on with that okay when you click on the id of um, ec2 so i'm in here here it's gonna give you some action and you can click here on the connect right now well there are some connection information already here so the most imp important information here we got is the rdp because that is what i mean there are ssh there are multiple ways to do this even you can also uh, run this instance or connect this instance directly within the browser as well and do some command line but um, the most important stuff here is that connect this and you download this file again and make sure it is okay what you wanna do next you again need um, public ip as i said username as i said this desktop file for the communication as well and get password now wherever you have saved this key in the previous step you're going to upload it so that you can get password for that thingy okay here you're gonna when you upload uh, this uh, uh, file uh, your pem key you hit here connect or decrypt your my key and you're gonna see password here actually okay when you actually hit decrypt after uploading your key you're gonna see password here please make sure that you copy the password here right okay then you're gonna see the search bar beneath you're gonna see here remote and on remote actually you're gonna come here here you need that ip address i have told you about right this is actually the ip this is the username and it's going to ask you for open actually you can also open the rdp setting here if you have install it here so easy peasy right there you go when actually you write everything here you need to copy the information of your uh, ec2 so this information is c2.north and sometimes it's also ask you for i'm in here remote right you come here in this section you write this information here you get this from here actually uh, this information you can copy this public dns if not you can come here and you can copy this public domain here you can also put this information here right so here when you give this it's gonna ask something whatever it asks you you always do yes 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 you give administrator as a as a username and password whatever password you have generated right and if you do this you're gonna land up here very fancy you are now it in your computer and you can use it whenever you want how you want whatever information you need you can copy any file here thank you very much for watching you can do whatever you want you can just uh, drag and drag, drag and drop whatever you need here so easy peasy and this is your computer you can access it and this is 24 7 open gonna work for you is free great thank you very much for watching bye